back to my YouTube channel and in today's video this is another vlogmas video uh, I'm thinking that this is day three um, so in today's vlogmas video I was looking up some Christmassy uh, recipes so I found a couple that I liked uh, I'm only gonna do one in today's video throughout vlogmas I'm going to be doing different recipes bake uh, like baking ideas and yeah just you know that um, also guys you might have noticed um, I dyed my hair yet again um, I still have the green in there I just put a little bit of purple in there so yeah in today's video we're going to be making a Christmas truffle well truffles because they're little tiny ball things so yeah um, also guys look at this graph you can make that graph change percentage by subscribing to my youtube channel turning on your post notifications so you do not miss any time i upload and yeah just join your girl in this vlogmas journey and i hope you guys enjoy my content so far so without further ado guys let's just jump right in to this video all right guys so in order to make this uh, Christmas truffles, um, you will be needing a uh, white cake mix. I have this one. Um, you can't really see it because the ring light. Okay, there you go. So we have Betty Crocker's uh, white super moist cake mix. We have that. Um, you also need all purpose flour. Um, I'm going to use whatever's left in this bag. And I also took some from my mom's house and she put it in a tomato and basil sauce so we also need some sugar so we have some sugar um you also need butter vanilla milk some christmas sprinkles so typically this one has um green white and red um i will see what ones i have and you'll also need white chocolate so if you guys have any of these at home you can sit down and bake with me uh if you guys see me looking this way or like looking down i'm either looking at the recipe because i have it on my ipad um i also found this recipe um on pinterest um so i find that pinterest has a lot of recipes especially for like non non-bake non-cook or like just simple recipes let's just get right into making this recipe so what i gotta get first is a bowl obviously i didn't i got everything else ready for this video but a bowl so i gotta get a bowl So I have two bowls just in case. I don't know if I need one bowl or two. So I just took it two just in case. Okay, so in this bowl we will need two. It says in a large bowl, which this is the biggest large bowl that I have, um, put in your cake mix, flour, and sugar. Stir in melted butter, vanilla, milk, and sprinkles. So let's get into that. So these are the only sprinkles that I have. Um, I thought I had more, but I guess I don't. So like, it says one cup of cake mix. So let's get this open, oh my God. Okay, so one cup. Now, can you guys see that in the other? No, you can't see now. There we go. All right, so one cup. A little bit over, but whatever. Can you guys see that? Yeah. So let's put this one to the side over there. So we have one cup. So boom, one cup. And then a half a cup of all purpose flour. So Let's see what is left in here. 
not very much. All right. That's the end of that flower. All right, so let's see how much is there. Not even half, okay. So, now we're gonna break out the flower that I got from my mom. And then, oh, I spilled a little bit of it. All right. That is a lot more than half. Oh my God, I'm just spilling it everywhere. I got a spoon because I think it's gonna be easier and less of a mess if I just scoop it out with a spoon. Cause like I hate to be wasteful. And that was way too much. Nice. Good going, girl. Good going. All right. So now after that technical difficulty. Um, we have half a cup, so there we go, pour in half a cup, and before I move on, I have to clean up the flour that I spilled. Okay, so now that I have that cleaned up, um, we're going to need half a cup of sugar, so let's see if I can do this one better. I see you creeping around the corner. <laughs> You'd come say hi to the video. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> There's Kyle. Um, also, guys, I had a second camera. I had to switch it. Um, so you probably didn't see me pour my sugar, but I got a different camera on there now. So we should be able to see it now. So now what we're gonna do is dump the sugar into this bowl now. Need to make sure that it's recording. Good. So I have that in there, boom. So now I have to melt a quarter cup of butter. Okay. We're going to use the broken measuring cup for the butter because, I don't know, I just don't want to put this one in the microwave. So, um, I didn't, I don't have any more tub butter, so I went out to the store and bought this butter. So, um, let's cut it. I've never used this butter ever in my life. Oh my god, it has little things on the side. Look at that. Look. Wow. Okay. So, half a cup is right there. Okay. Okay, that is cool. Wake it. All right, I'm gonna do a little tiny bit from the line I just made on it. So we're gonna plop that in the uh, in the measuring cup. Now I'm gonna go and soften this butter, and I will be right back. All right. So we have the butter melted. Now we put that aside. I'm going to stir the sugar and all that together. I have this thing to stir it with. Um, I did have a Christmas one, but I don't know where it went. I don't know if it's dirty or if it's somewhere else. I don't know. Um, also, if you hear anything in the background, it's Cooper, Lily, or the cats. I say that in almost every one of my videos, I think. But anyway, I'm gonna stir this. I am like, a hectic baker. I'm also a hectic cooker as well. I'm 
sometimes get very overwhelmed with um, baking and cooking, but I love to do it. So that's a fun fact about me. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna pour in the butter. So that's the butter. Vanilla. Vanilla. So for the vanilla, we're going to need a half a teaspoon. So handy dandy teaspoon. Fill it up. Boom. It's half a teaspoon. And then we're going to need some milk. So I need two tablespoons. Tablespoons. So milk, tablespoons. All right, let's see now, some, one, and two, two tablespoons. I don't know why I thought it said teaspoons, because I got my one teaspoon as well, so that's that. All right, so now we're going to add a couple of sprinkles, because I'm going to save some for the top of it. Um, I wish I had these small sprinkles, but I don't. So, now we're going to stir this together. I should have put it in the mixer. But now we're going to stir it. Okay, so right now I'm going to put in three eggs because... I feel like this is still really powdery and it doesn't exactly tell me if I needed to mix the cake mix or not but I'm gonna put eggs in it because it seems right to me and usually when a a recipe calls for eggs I usually use um, a egg replacer because, you know, eggs are going out of style now. Um, but, for this case, I am gonna use eggs. So, we're gonna put three eggs. So if you make this recipe at home, make sure you put three eggs in there. Or don't, I don't know. I just feel like it's right to put eggs in there because it says on the back of the cake mix box. All right, let's give this another little stir and hopefully it looks a little bit better or what I imagine in my mind what it's supposed to look like. Cause I think it's supposed to look like dough and that did not look like dough, it looked like powder. It actually looks a lot better. It looks a lot better now. And also guys, my other camera has no space on it either. So, I'm just going to have to do this. So, all right, so now I have that all mixed up. Um, I did add a little tiny bit more cake mix to the mixture because, um, it looked a little tiny bit watery. So I just mix in a little bit more, like a couple little sprinkles here and there. Now, this is what it looks like so far. And I think that's a good consistency for making these. So what I'm going to do is, it says to use a um, a cookie scoop or ice cream scoop. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I actually have this um, this uh, a cake pop uh, maker. Um, I'm gonna put them in there. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Also, guys, I'm sorry that um, I can't exactly show you what I'm doing on this, like, I'm sorry that I don't have a 
different uh, camera angle because if I had a different camera I would be able to but I don't so what I'm gonna do is grab my pink pop maker and use that okay so moving on to a different angle um, I'm going to fast forward this part of the video. I'm just going to put them in there and let them cook and take them out. Okay, so let's move on to the fast forward. Alright guys, so now that I have the um, truffles done, they smell pretty good. Um, I don't exactly know if I'm doing this right, but this is what the recipe said, so I'm hoping that it's fine. They look okay, but anyway, um, now it is time for us to melt the chocolate, the stuff that's going to go over it. Um, so I have white, you guys see that, um, white chocolate and I'm going to melt it in a little sauce pan. So yeah, just come on over and I will show you guys what I'm doing. Now we're moved over to the stove. I have a, um, a drying tray that we're going to use and yeah, so what I have done so far is I put some little bit of coconut oil in there so that it doesn't stick, the chocolate don't stick. And yeah, we're just going to, um, I'm just going to fast forward this part because we just need to melt the chocolate. So, let's uh, get into forming it. Now that I have the um, white chocolate melted, um, I'm going to move these over here and I'm just going to dip them in and then take them out and put them on the drying tray. So. Let me bring the camera over and show you guys that.
All right, guys. So as you can see, um, last minute, I decided to make some of them green. Some of them look kind of um, chunky, like the white ones. As you can see, that one don't have a lot of chocolate on it. Because for some reason, I don't know if it's just me or what, um, it started, the chocolate started to go back to a solid. I don't exactly know how to melt chocolate, but I tried my best. So, let me go get Kyle and uh, let him see and see what his reaction is to this. Come see. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know you can get in to the video too. <laughs> I don't know if they're still hot or not. Okay. Um, I still got like a load of balls because I ran out of that chocolate. So I'm What's probably. What? What's in them? Are they the dark smeared one? Try it without the icing. Yeah, there's only sprinkles in there. So I suppose they can have one. Um. So yeah, I'm probably going to let the dogs try these ones, and I'm probably going to melt another kind of chocolate and see if they will, you know, melt pretty well. But anyway, so that's that. Um, let's try one. What one do you want to try? Are they different flavors or all the same flavor? All the same flavor. It's just food it. dye. Okay, Kyle's gonna try the white one. I'm gonna try. I gotta see the hot. <gasps> oh my god, that is hot, 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 hot. It's cool. Oh, that's it. If it was cold, it'd be better, but it's hot. Is it good? What? Tastes like a Hershey's. I'm sure you're making the melt all over the floor. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. Mm -hmm. The chocolate needs to be a little bit more harder. Obviously, we tried it when I just took it off the stove. So, I say after this hardens and has that little crunch in the chocolate, I think it'll be wicked. So, so what do you rate it? You what do you what would you rate my baking in here? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten? It didn't seem ten out of ten when you made that face at me like you was gonna laugh or something. Ten when ten. you was eating it, he was like. Just <laughs> <laughs> because the icing was really like I just smelled dry kind of thing, so I decided to chew it up. Icing. Okay. I thought it was icing, right. not no chocolate or anything. Like okay. Yeah, I think it was, I, I give it. It tastes like a f***ing Kindor, Kindor chocolate. The white one did. Oh. Um, I would rate it probably a seven. Why? Because it's still hot. Like the chocolate's still warm. I think if the chocolate was like cooled down like if I put it in the fridge I would um, like it a little bit better I'd probably give it a 10 out of 10 but I just don't like warm chocolate so. yeah so anyway guys this is the end of my video I hope you guys enjoyed this very hectic um, baking vlog if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big fat like. Also, comment down below if you would like to see more baking vlogs from me. Um, I am going to do a couple more this month for Vlogmas because uh, I have a couple other recipes there. Um, hopefully, it's not going to be as hectic as this one. I don't know why I get so hectic over uh, 
baking or cooking I don't know why comment down below if you would like to see other stuff or what kind of recipes you would like me to make also if you haven't already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications because your girl is dropping the vlogmas bangers back to back all 25 days of Christmas of this month so Without further ado, guys, I will see you in the next one, and peace.